Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm going to be explaining the differences in mechanical mouse switches and optical switches and talking about how they affect your mouse's CPS. All right, to start, I'm gonna be using Razer's Death Adder V2, the Rockat Cone Pro, and a simple office mouse to describe these switches. Razer predominantly uses their optical switches nowadays to ensure that no extra or unwanted clicks register through to your game. The Death Adder that I have today also uses those optical switches. Now, if you know anything about Razer's mice, you know that they're really bad at double clicking or letting extra clicks slip through. For most games, this is fine since you want your mouse to pick up your exact clicks accurately. This is also possible since Razer programmed their newer mice to have a very high debounce time, which is just a mechanism used to prevent multiple signals from being registered and helps to filter out noise or unintended inputs. Now what this also means is that for games such as Minecraft, the death adder will not be good for butterfly clicking or drag clicking since these switches in the company's software program the mouse to not pick up any extra clicks. As you can see and hear, I'm physically drag clicking on the mouse and you can hear the sound, but just because you can hear it or you can actually do the method on your mouse does not mean that it will register in game. If you didn't pick up on that, I just made a whole video talking talking about how any clicking method is possible, but it's just a matter of whether or not your mouse will register it. Now moving on to the Rockat Home Pro, this mouse is somewhat similar, but has a different result in game than the Death Adder. This mouse also uses optical switches. However, this mouse comes with a software where you can customize colors, DPI, and adjust the debounce timer, which I mentioned before, to allow it to register those extra clicks happening on accident. To do this, you'll need to set the debounce to one MS, and then the mouse will be able to double click. And it's the same story as the Death Adder here, only this mouse actually registers the clicks. The mouse switches do play a big part on how your clicks go through, but it's more so the software that determines how your clicks will register end game. Lastly, I have an office mouse here with mechanical switches. The only thing with mechanical switches is that they're much older and easier to register unwanted clicks on accident. The whole reason optical switches block out double clicks is because they have a laser whose signal gets blocked when you press on your mouse button, sending in only the right amount of clicks. This office mouse, however, does not have that. With that being said, that does not mean that all office mice will double click since there are obviously a lot that don't. All the switches are telling about the mouse is its durability, responsiveness, and the feeling of the click which points back to why I said the software is what really determines the amount of CPS. I hope that told you a little bit about mechanical and optical switches, as well as giving you something to look out for when you're looking for a new mouse. As always, I would really appreciate a like or a sub. Both of them would really help the channel out, and I will see you guys in the next video.